This is the most unhinged YouTuber on the platform. Because Colleen Ballinger told me not to tell my parents about anything because she was trauma dumping to me and she knew that my parents would make it stop. Fine, you are on a date with an underage child, directly asking them if they want to put their hand in your pants. That is illegal! That is illegal! Alright, welcome back everyone. If you haven't figured it out already, this video is going to be about Colleen Ballinger. Or Ballinger. Don't really know. Don't care. About three years ago, a bloke named Adam McIntyre posted a video talking about Colleen Ballinger and his experiences with her. Now, she is an absolute freak. That's right, we only talk about freaks on this channel. Now at the time of this video being posted, he didn't really receive support. In fact, a lot of people bashed him for it, including Colleen Ballinger's fans, and also big influencers, people like James Charles. Now let's have a look what James Charles tweeted. I understand, okay, we're gonna read this out, and you're probably not gonna get it because there's no context, but trust me, stick around, okay? Because in this video, it's gonna be jam-packed with information. In fact, we're gonna be talking about everything Colleen Ballinger has done, even the new information, how she's been manipulating people, being predatory towards her fans, taking advantage of, 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 of minors, okay? This is insane, all right? You're not gonna get this anywhere else. Only on the Curtis Price channel, baby. It's literally all lies. The boy begged Colleen for the panties for years, he ran her Twitter for one day and she never ghosted him either. In fact, he tried to bring Flynn into his argument. Sure, his story doesn't look the best, but he's looking for attention since Colleen won't. Oh, okay, James Charles. Yeah, that's no problem. You're defending Colleen Ballinger. Quickly, no one gives a fuck what you have to say. All right, you go back to talking to underage people on Snapchat and we'll take care of the business here. Thank you very much. But let's take a look at what kind of person James Charles was defending, just to show you, you know, what kind of goes on in this industry. What you're looking at right now um, is Colleen Ballinger pretending to be on a date with a nine-year-old and telling him to reach into her pants for a snack, making a child incredibly uncomfortable towards the end as everyone laughs at him. Wow, a bit of a, a, bit of a strange one, Colleen. I mean, a nine-year-old, really? I mean, what the... <laughs> What? I mean, of course James Charles is going to defend someone like this. It's exactly in his lane. He loves little children, everybody. Here's another one. Colleen Ballinger bringing a child on stage to act out giving birth. Colleen, pretending to be Miranda's uncle in the segment, saying that she likes little girls, making a paedophilic comment. Then Colleen says to the little girl, smells fertile, and gets between her legs. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm out of here. It's a good job, Jim Bond, defending this person. I'm glad we all came to an understanding that the world needs more freaks like this. Now, that was just a little taste of today's video. Colleen Ballinger now has come under a lot of heat that she should have been under a few years ago. Yeah, we're about three years too late, so... Well done, internet. Speaking of heat, it's about 3,000 degrees here. My left ball is sweating. I don't know if I can do this video, but I'm gonna push through it for you guys. So the reason why she's come under heat recently is because people have finally come to the realization of what Adam McIntyre was trying to say three years ago in his video exposing her. At the time, the internet didn't really understand that you have a 30 year old woman being really, really friendly with a 13 year old boy. The internet didn't really catch on there. So they actually ended up canceling Adam, even though in his video, it, it kind of explained everything that Colleen has done. But the internet didn't see that. I mean, of course they didn't. You know, the internet is subjective. You know, it's a, it's whatever everyone is leaning towards. If I make a video canceling stick insects, everyone else will cancel stick insects too. That's just how the internet works. So in Adam's video, he explained how Colleen was using him for her own gain, using a minor for her own success, basically. And she got so friendly with this minor that she started discussing her problems with him. Uh, her divorce with her husband and kind of just informing him about all of her problems that she has in life You know the usual stuff you talk about with a minor and she would also use him for his creativity You know he went through all this in, in, in his video released three years ago You know the one where he got cancelled and but he was doing such a good job with creativity, etc uh, She allowed him to basically uh, have control of the Miranda Sings Twitter account. Now, if you don't know Colleen Ballinger, her character is Miranda the one with lots of lipstick I don't know what the fuck's going on, but that's just that's what it was at the time. It was a character, all right? Crazy character, I know. <laughs> Little bit of trivia for you. I used to do characters too. Uh, here's an Easter egg for you. Remember this guy? Yeah. He was the Don back in the day. But I don't do that anymore. One day, Adam had a viral Twitter idea. He explained to her that it would be a great idea for her to tweet out that she has come out as a Megan Trainer fan. Then came a tweet about Miranda Sings coming out as a Megan Trainer fan, which she was initially confused about, and she says, I don't know what you're saying about Megan. So then I explained it again, and Colleen was fully gonna go ahead posting it herself, as you can see here. So I helped give her the photos and the concept, and she said, when should I do that? Should I do that today or tomorrow before I post the video? And I said, what are you waiting for today? And she says, okay, cool. Showing that she had every single intention to post this tweet on her own behalf. And then on the 26th of March at 12 minutes past 10 p.m., she messaged me and said, I have a present for you today. I've never done this with anyone, but I'm trusting you. And then she proceeded to tell me about how she was planning on making me her social media intern. Keep in mind now though, Adam did convey this idea 
to Colleen and she was happy with it. She approved it. She was like, yeah, it's a great idea, you know, let's do it. When shall I post it, she said. The Twitter police wasn't happy with this, as usual. Now, I find this hilarious, but Colleen had to release an apology on a notepad explaining how sorry she is and it was a bad idea, etc, etc. People are calling her homophobic. Are you joking me? Come off it. But instead of Colleen taking responsibility, being like, yeah, okay, Adam, you know, I did approve the tweet. Instead, she just blamed it all on him. Like a person who can't take accountability. <laughs> Says it all, really, doesn't it? She said in a response here to him, she said, Before we continue, subscribe to the channel. We want to reach 100k in the next four months, if possible. Leave a like, comment down below, join the channel memberships, and leave a super thanks, or else me and Nor will be gone forever. I need to pay the rent this month. Good girl. Good girl, go on. Our plan is working over. We're manipulating everyone with your cuteness. See, people feel sorry for doggos. So, with you here, we can make them do what we want. <laughs> it's all anyone is talking about. I'm really upset. I never would post something like that, and now everyone thinks I'm homophobic. I'm really, really upset. Frankly, I couldn't give a shit if you're upset. Now, at the time of Adam releasing his video three years ago, a bunch of other videos were coming up. Videos that... Miranda the character posted like in the past and she was being cancelled for that because of some of the things she said but whatever uh, So she had to make a response video apologizing for those and also addressing the Adam McIntyre situation And now in that video she touched on the fact on how she sent underwear to a 13 year old child uh, Basically saying that he was begging for it um, that she shouldn't have listened, but she did it anyway because she didn't think anything of it. Blah de blah de blah de blah. Fuck off. Now three years later, in 2023, it's kind of all forgotten. Now you know she's doing it. You know, doing family vlogs, or whatever crap she's doing, and also she's got a podcast with uh, Trisha Paytas. Now a person known as Cody. Cody was actually a person who sided with Colleen Ballinger back then, and even made like a, a defense video. So <laughs> now they have come out and actually spoken about Colleen Ballinger and addressed their experience. So in a group chat that Cody was a part of, uh, Colleen Ballinger was basically asking everyone for Q&A questions. She asked Adam, you know, what do you want to be asked for your Q&A? You know, everyone was saying some things like, oh, what did you think of the show, blah, blah, blah. Not Colleen Ballinger, everyone. No, 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 no. She asked what his favorite position was. <coughs> Fucking get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here. Just get out. Get out the door. Also, Colleen Ballinger asked if Adam was a virgin. Asking a 15 year old if they're a virgin. Okay. Stop right there in the name of the law. Get on the ground now, you filthy nonce. Now just jump ahead a couple of seconds. Uh, Adam obviously has released new videos because finally people are siding with him. So he's decided to talk about more in depth about his experience. Um, and people are supporting him. But this person, Cordy, I first saw you and I thought to myself, something strange about you. I don't know what. Couldn't put my finger on it. She messaged me so I would do her dirty work for her and try to get me on her side. And it worked, sadly. Now, I believe the reason that she DM'd me was so I would make this video. I would make a video that would defend her. And it worked. And that's sad. I was so excited when she messaged me. I was like, oh my god, she's confiding in me. I was gonna be her knight in shining armor, right? She's just like, I'm trying to do my best to respect his family's wishes and to protect him as a minor, as best I can. I'm sad and disappointed about all this, and I'm just trying to keep it together. Like, Colleen Ballinger messaged you and somehow convinced you to make a video defending her. And they were like, oh, the, the, she, Colleen, she, she pulled the blindfold over my eyes. And, and, and she convinced me and it worked. You're full of shit, pal. You claim that you were a victim of her manipulation, right? First of all, you're fucking, you're like 30 years old, man. What, what, what are you talking about? If it's a minor and he looks up to like this, you know, superstar, wow, Colleen Ballinger, wow. You know, fair enough, but fuck me, man, you're 30 years old, I think. Take accountability. You took part in dragging a 17-year-old child across the internet. When Adam released his video talking about his experiences, you were one of the people that defended Colleen Ballinger in a video. There's no getting around that. I, oh, she, she manipulated me. Shut up, man, you're 30 years old. You got a mind of your own. However, my suspicions were right, because right after watching your segment, I went on Twitter and I put a hashtag around your name and people were saying some interesting stuff. So I just wanna read these out to you. I think maybe if Cordy keeps speaking, I will make an hour long video on how they asked me and other minors to be characters in their sexually violent fan fiction. I hadn't even turned 13 yet. Sexually violent fan fiction? What are you on about? Allegedly, I don't know if this is true, okay? It's alleged, but if this is true, I mean, <laughs> I know you're a freak, just saying. I, I knew from the start, so I was kind of right. At, a, at an age, you get, kind of get to read people. You don't even have to meet them. You just kind of get the vibe, you know what I'm saying? What vibe do you get about me, by the way? Pretty cool, I suppose. Yeah. Cool.
cool guy, handsome, and big muscles. I knew it. Hey, I knew we were thinking the same thing, don't worry. Now, the premise of Cody Rant's video was basically, um, you know, apologizing to Adam, saying that, you know, they should have realized what Colleen was like because they've had similar experiences. So, sorry Adam for cancelling you three years ago, couldn't be helped, sorry I put you through all that trauma, but now I just want to apologise because now I understand uh, what Colleen was like, and because I've done this now, I- But the best part is, of course, Cody Rants has now deleted their Twitter and all their videos, including the one defending Adam, uh, you know, apologising. They've deleted everything. Ah, uh, awesome. Awesome! I'm so pissed that Cody Rance deleted her Twitter and is currently making all this shit about her on her live streams that she refused to end. Deleting that Adam McIntyre video and that may now discredit his genuine trauma. She's now dejected and she won't be praised in his interview. Gross, man. Cody is a 32-year-old predator trying to pick up vulnerable underage victims from this situation. From everyone's stories, Cody seems like the most fucked up, but they just get a pass for some reason. Hold Cody accountable. It's exactly what we're doing. You are looking really bad right now. Cool. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to be online after this. Okay. Now, Cody was live streaming yesterday and was basically saying I'm deplatforming myself, uh, you know, one step ahead of the wave before they get cancelled. I'm deplatforming myself. I've deleted everything. I won't be on Twitter anymore, so I can't get cancelled. <laughs> you're still going to get cancelled. You know, you're still going to get cancelled whether you like it or not. I'm fully aware that the fandom will be very toxic to me and very mad at me for posting this video, but I do not care. A few moments later. <laughs> Just so sorry about all the group chats. Was, I'm just so sorry. I really am just so sorry. And then they're on live stream, <laughs> crying on live stream as well. Oh, get off the internet, pal. All right. It's not designed for you, okay? Why are you on the internet crying? Just, oh man, I need to get out of here. Talking about all these tears make me want to piss. Now, Adam has now released a new video, basically touching on what Colleen had done to him when he was 15. My parents are so mad, and she goes, "Wait." Are your parents coming? What's happening? I'm confused. Because the worst thing for Colleen is for my parents to be there because she can't talk to me inappropriately. And I go, they're leaving me off. And she goes, we've sat down at the burger place. And she goes, let me order you one. I'm a mess. So before the time I'd even gotten there, they're eating and whatever. We're sitting by the window. Um, and then she goes, Jesus, where are you? So literally right after that is my complaining that I'm not getting there on time, which is why they then didn't hang out with me for any longer than five minutes. I am like, where is it? I was like, I don't know Dublin. I'm stressed out. Me and my mom don't know where, me and my mom and dad don't know where I'm going. I sent you the address. I don't know Dublin. She goes, where are you? Your lunch is here. I'm on my way. And then I'm like, oh my God, y'all are going to be done. I'm sorry. And she goes, yeah, we are. LOL. I have to leave in 10 to 15, but you can walk with me to my hotel, which, by the way, was next door to it. One thing Adam touched on is how Colleen left him in the middle of Dublin, a place that he's not familiar with, and, you know, he was panicking, didn't know what was going on, and Colleen basically just ditched him. You know, just left him out to dry. Colleen, she just seems like a bit of a freak, really, doesn't she? Oh, oh, your, oh your parents are coming? Damn. Now I can't ask you what your favourite position is. <laughs> Fuck off. Now, once again, Adam released another video demonstrating the way that Colleen has been manipulating people. And there's some sweet hypocrisy. I just love it. So let's go back to the point where Colleen basically sent Adam underwear, who was like 13, 14 at the time. Now, in her response video from a couple of years back, she basically stated, you know, oh, I shouldn't have given him my underwear. You know, he was asking for it. I shouldn't have listened, etc. However, I don't think that's strictly true. Now, on the other hand, Adam said that Colleen wanted to send him the underwear. Two sides with two different stories, okay? Now, Colleen, in her video, said the most famous line ever. Context is everything. So let's remember this phrase, okay? Context is everything, okay? But in this situation, context is everything. So I would like to give you some context to the situation. People started asking for them in the live stream. Who wants that bra? You want the bra? Everyone wants the bra. At the end of the live stream, I was done giving away clothes, and then this boy who made this video about me recently, he asked for the underwear. Yay, we picked people. I think that's enough. Did that boy win these or not? I don't know. He has to tell me what he wants. What do you say? Is he being <laughs> He said, um, hi, you have ugly clothes, but I want those ratchet panties and bra signed by Corey because he modeled them well. Yeah. <laughs> so this evidence was typically meant to clear her name. However, context is missing. Context is everything. <laughs> Now, Adam actually shows the real clip of what was actually said. So, let's take a look. Something. You want the bra? Hang on a second. Was that a Red Bull with a straw? Kind of regret making this video now. Here's the truth. We love, I want to send him something. Do you want the bra, Adam? Oh, no, do you want the bra panties? Tweet right now. I'm sending him something. Okay, maybe he'll want the panties. Although then his parents will be like, you're not allowed to watch who is sending you panties. 
I should have realized and recognized how dumb that was and never sent it to him, no matter how much he asked. No matter how much he asked. Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Look at that. Complex is everything, everybody. I want to send him something. Do you want the bra? I'll send him. I'm not saying the word because it just. Do you want to say it? Pennies. <laughs> So my viewers watching, if I was to send your child underwear, how would you feel about that? Yeah, thought so. Now Adam also pointed out how Colleen couldn't take responsibility. But, and she basically started blaming Adam's mother, being like, oh, you know, I wasn't aware that his mother was uncomfortable with this. If I would have known, you know, it wouldn't have been this way. I wasn't aware. Well, Adam said in his video, it's because you told him not to tell his mother anything. So... How is mother supposed to be aware if you said, uh, Adam, don't tell your parents what we talk about. Sounds like the most predatory thing to say. So this is the section of the video where she can't acknowledge that, that she did a bad job and that she fucked up so that she now pushes it on my mother and she blames my mother. She basically says that it was my mother's fault for not telling her that she was uncomfortable. And now I'm not going to reiterate this story, but if you watch my last video of my relationship with Colleen Ballinger, I talk about how basically my mom didn't know about anything because Colleen Ballinger told me not to. And she said that because she knew Adam's mother wouldn't be comfortable with it. You know, you knew what you were saying. If you were telling Adam not to tell his mum, you already knew what you were saying was wrong. But you didn't care, did you? Didn't. Now, let me know if you want me to make a part two on this. Uh, I definitely will. Just comment part two with exclamation marks and I'll and I'll, I'll see. Comment down below as well, uh, whatever you want, what you think of the video, what you think of the situation. I want to hear your thoughts. I'll reply. I'll If I won't reply, I'll at least leave a love heart. With that said, one final message to Colleen Ballinger, Cody, and Colleen Ballinger's best friend. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.